So how do we measure angles? Well, thanks to our Babylonian and Mayan ancestors, we develop a system of measuring angles on a base 60 degree, on a base 60 format. Which means that if I took a ray and extended the, the terminal ray all the way around until I got back to the initial position, I've gone around the entire arc of a circle which we have described as 360 degrees or a 360 degree revolution all the way around where each degree is one 360th equals one degree. Now, there's certain types of angles that also have special names. So let's look at a couple of those right now. So if I have an angle, That is 90 of those degrees. This angle right there is 90 degrees. We would call that a square angle or a right angle. If I had an angle that was less than 90 degrees. So some theta that's less than 90 degrees we would call this one an acute angle. Is that two C's or one C? I don't know. Do you guys know? I know what it's called. Do I know how to spell it? Uh, maybe not. This was a right angle. So less than 90 degrees, it's acute. Right at 90 degrees is called a right angle. If I have an angle that extends past 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees, so 180, it's less, it's less than that, but greater than 90, we would call that an obtuse angle. And for your Shawshank Redemption, fa Shawshank Redemption fans, we get to use that word obtuse again. And then we have one more angle that we would typically use where I have my initial ray, but I would have a terminal ray going in the opposite direction so that the angle then would be 180 degrees. And we would call this one, what time, what kind of name would you want to give this one? Yeah, let's call it a straight angle. So we have four different types of angles that we're gonna measure throughout this course, and we can measure them in one way called degrees. An angle that's less than 90 degrees, it's an acute angle. A, an angle measured at 90 degrees, we call that a right angle. An angle that's between 90 and 180, we call an obtuse angle. And then an angle that's at 180 degrees, we call that a straight angle. Now these angle measurements I drew, I drew in the positive direction. Likewise, I could draw them in the negative direction, but they would still either be acute, right, obtuse, and so forth. 